Hey everyone, Spicy Toast here. We're going to be doing a Jinx versus Aesol video. I was looking through my collection of videos and we actually just did a updated Jinx guide. And I realized I have almost no gameplay videos for Jinx. Now that's partially due because of the fact that she is the first champion. And so a lot of people have played her and don't really care about her, but I still feel like we should have some more Jinx gameplay. So we have her at level 30 with the three stars. Star powers, I'm sure you all know this, but when you play or discard a card, deal one to the enemy Nexus and one to a random enemy, so every time we're just playing a card, we're dealing damage, really strong star power. Two star, plus one starting mana, when you level up a champion, create a super mega death rocket in hand. This is also the effect for Jinx, so when we level up Jinx, we actually create two of these. For the relics we're running, we're doing Scourge's Stash, Loose Cannon's Payload, and Gatebreaker, so we're trying to get the Plunder effect off and then play her as soon as possible in the first two rounds. She's then going to deal a massive amount of damage, level up, and quite often end the game. Now, since we're going against Aesol, this won't end the game as many times against some of these tougher opponents, especially if they have Unyielding, but it's still going to set us up for a very strong starting position. Before we get into it though, just want to say a massive shout out to all of my awesome members going that extra mile in supporting the channel. It was really fun playing Valheim together, defeating the first boss, and getting up to some crazy shenanigans. This month, our weekly, or not weekly, our monthly get together, we're going to be checking out the new update for V Rising. That will be coming out around May 17th-ish, so we'll probably be doing that on that Friday. If you're interested and want to participate, want to become a member, hit that join button down below. I really appreciate all the support you guys give, and let's get into the video. Alright, here we are at the start. Since Jinx is pretty fast, we're actually going to showcase the entire run. So for Aesol, he has Level Up. We have Misfortune with Duplicate. Jin with Power Overwhelming. And starting off with Fior with unyielding huh so apparently i must have retired a jinx run earlier on i sometimes need to do that when i'm fishing for powers for <laughs> screenshots for the guides but we'll just go with this i think we'll go for the unstable mana flow that'll help us even if it's just the first three battles all right uh we'll get rid of the jinx since we know we're going to get another one i think we'll hold on to our two two costs Actually, we're going to be able to play Jinx in the very first round. And that's because of this awesome jury rig. So if you ever have three mana, or if you have something that makes your spells cost one less, you can play Jinx in the very first round. So we just play jury rig. That gets the plunder effect off. And here's Jinx. Now the one issue is we're not going to have mana for our fleeting spells, but it should be fine. They're already almost burnt through their first health bar. I think let's play a get excited. Well, actually, let's hold on to this for now, but let's get rid of that one unit. Um, sure, let's start with a rocket border. Huh, they don't want to play anything. Alright, let's just keep doing a little bit of damage to their Nexus. We're wanting to end this round if possible. Alright, GG. Alright, time trick. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, Kingpin's also pretty decent, but I think we'll go with time trick. So getting Teemo support, uh, pretty good. Poison Dart with the Hero's Horn, very nice. Then let's go with that. And yeah, let's try to get something good from the Epic Shop. All right, we know we're going to draw the two Jury Rigs, so we don't need to hold on to those. Nice that we have the Poison Dart. I think we're actually just going to wait and not play uh, Jinx this round.
we wanted to make sure we had mana for our other spells. Let's just play our two super mega death rockets. Bye -bye. All right, GG. Didn't even need to attack. Uh, Time Winder, this is discarding, so probably would be decent. This actually wouldn't be bad, but I want to get something to reduce down our cost of our spells or give us some spell mana, anything like that. So we'll try a reroll here. Eh. Sure, I guess we'll go for Officer Backup. Nothing really worth getting. All right, let's go for Poppy. All right, hold on to Teemo and the other ones. We'll get rid of the Sump Dredger. Nice, we got Jinx. And again, I think we'll just hold off on our first round. Just bank the mana and play Jinx next round. Very nice and easy. Now we're just going to play the Death Rockets and uh, end the game. Alright, not too bad. I think we'll go for the Mushroom Cloud. We want to get as many cheap cards as possible. Eh... Don't really like any of these. I guess we'll go for some fumes. This one's actually not bad since we are discarding cards. Um, but I really just want something for really just want something for our spells. But if you do see this on Jinx, she's kind of the best champion to utilize this. Uh, yeah, we won't bother. So I think our one power we got the extra mana is about to run out. All right, let's get rid of most of these. Nice having that po poison dart just for a little bit of backup. Oh, we have Jinx. Perfect. Yeah, we're down to only having the two mana, so our extra mana gem is now gone. A little sad. Eh, a little sad. So close. We are at the threshold of something great. All right, we'll play the jury rig since it's burst speed and let Jinx kill everyone. <laughs> we are doing it. And we still have the two mana, so we can play our two fleeting spells. Very nice. Probably open attack next turn and end the game. Yeah, this Jinx build is definitely pretty crazy. Alright, GG. Alright, 
we'll grab Jinx with the Farsight just to make sure we're always getting her at the start of the game. I right, really needing a good power here. <laughs> uh, so honestly, all three of these are very good. Uh, the unstable is very random, but can be very strong. Trifarian is a lot of fun. Honestly, all we need is sorcery, though. This is... Yeah, so even though we have a legendary power, even though this is, can be really crazy, all we really need is sorcery, and we're probably good. So we're actually just going to grab this. Alright, Solitary Monk, so we can either cut a card, cut a card, or get some extra gold. We already have a good amount of gold. I think we'll go for the Gangplank with the Unstable. Alright, doesn't really matter, because we know we're going to draw Jinx. And we're pretty much just going to be able to end the game round one every round now. <laughs> or at least close to it. Alright, so we'll just attack and not play the Jury Rig. To save a little bit of mana. And now it's just maybe GG. Alright, so the <laughs> double super mega death rocket. If you want a good farming build where you really don't need to think much, this is perfect for that. It does mean that most of your match is going to turn out the same way, but it's not that big of a deal. Also, one thing you can do, you can just kill your own units. Just to trigger the damage, they don't matter. <laughs> so, if you ever need that little bit of extra damage, just pow pow your own units and you're good to go. GG. I mean, I guess we go for Trixie Tentacles, don't really want any of these. Alright, what do we want to get rid of? I think we'll go for the Sump Dredger, just because we don't want really wanted to play anything that's three cost. Alright, Caitlyn or Sejuani. I think we'll go for Caitlyn here. Alright, yeah, again, doesn't really matter. We know we're drawing. <laughs> we know we're drawing Jinx, so the game's already set. Alright, we'll play one jury rig. And there's Jinx. <laughs> The thing is, this is working on the weaker opponents. Aesol has like twice the amount of health, so we'll have to see if we can power this up. And there's many ways to power this up. Getting extra draw, so you're discarding more cards. Getting stabilized, so Jinx does it again. Getting slow but steady, so your spells go off twice. We're really going to not need to try to do that before we tackle Aesol. But for now, GG. Alright, I guess we'll get uh, double down on the tentacles and then discard this next time. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, this is not the best. We'll save our reroll for a better shop. And I think we just won't bother getting anything. Alright, Viego with Unyielding or Swain. We want to avoid the Unyielding, so we'll go for the Swain here. Yep, again, doesn't really matter. <laughs> we know we're drawing Jinx. <laughs> Alright, 
I think we won't bother attacking. We'll save our attack for when we actually have Jinx so we can do more damage. So we'll just play the Jury Rig. Alright, super mega death rocket time. So we'll just attack, get another good amount of damage down. Come on. There we go. And another death rocket. We just need to play one spell and we win. <laughs> no one's the wiser. GG. Uh, here, I think. I guess we'll go for the double, another rocket border. We've actually been having bad luck, but we haven't gotten any champion item chests at all, so our Jinx still hasn't gotten more, like, damage on her attack, which kind of sucks. Alright, spells chest. Guess we go for the proximity puff cap. Let's cut that two cost. Yeah, the Trixie tentacles. And misfortune with duplicate. Uh, we know we're going to draw Jinx, so we're going to do this so we can have one more card. That way when we discard our whole hand, it'll be a bit better. So I'm still not sure if we're, this is going to work on uh, Aurelian Soul, but so far the first two-thirds of the adventure, this has been no problem. <laughs> oh, they just keep playing units. All right, we need to play two spells, and then we win. Now it's a party. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. All right, GG. So none of these are really helping us too much. Uh, I think we'll go for Locket, just to give us a little bit of extra protection. But again, the only thing we really have going for us right now is the fact we got Farsight and Sorcery. That's the really only thing that's been having us win games is that combination. So we really haven't powered up much at all. So Spell Slinger, we don't really need out of the gates, and this just making pretty much all of our spells free uh, will be better. So Fizz with Duplicate. All right, again, we'll reroll Jinx since we know we're going to draw her. <laughs> we just, uh, we just got another one. Oh Alright, play this for free. Perfect. And now all of these spells are also free. Um, I don't know if his little trident toss will stop this, since it's technically getting targeted, but it's not a single target spell. We'll just do a burst, though, to get rid of him. Just so we can't stop this. The animation is so long. 
feel like half these games is just watching that animation. <laughs> So let's attack, and GG, after we play a spell. Alright, time for the epic shop. Let's see if we can get anything good. When you play a spell, deal one to the enemy nexus. Sure, sounds wonderful. Alright, anything good here... Nothing really too crazy. Um, Mirror image could be good. Like, we are discarding pretty much our whole hand. So the chance we're going to draw this after we discard the whole hand to be able to use it, low. But summoning another Jinx to have her do her whole thing again could be really good. So we will actually grab some of these. Um, More champion draw, just in case something does happen to Jinx. Wouldn't be bad. Also, this spell is going to be for free, because it's one cost less anyways. Uh, yeah, it looks good. We want to be able to have backup ways to get Jinx, just in case something happens to her. Alright, Draven. Here we go again. Time for round two. Come on. My game is really slow tonight. That's annoying. And I guess we'll just end the game off of all these spells. I'm sorry to all of my units. But GG. Alright, I think we'll go for the Zonite. Alright, Karma with level up. I feel like this could be an interesting one. So, I'm actually gonna pass. I want them to play something first so that we have a target for our Jinx to hit with all the spells she's playing. Alright, there it is. Nice. Begins within. So we have someone to use all of our pow pows on. Oh, are they buffing up her health? They are. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So we honestly probably don't even have enough to kill her, but kind of doesn't matter. We're just also dealing damage to their nexus. And they're out of mana. Perfect. So our Death Rockets will finish them off. Well, GG. Sure, I guess. Fearsome on Jinx is really going to help us out. Two more copies will be nice, though. So we have Aurelian Soul with level up. Are we actually going to have enough damage, or are we going to run out of steam? Naturally. All right, let's see here. I mean, sure, we'll re-roll that one. We don't really care. We know we're going to draw Jinx anyways. That 50 health. I don't know if we can do it in the first round. So 
So sometimes I don't play anything in the first round, so I'm just gonna play Jinx immediately. Sure, let's just get him off the board. Let's attack before they play anything else, getting a good amount of damage down. So we won't be able to end the game on the first turn, but we do have them in a very good position. <laughs> Alright, we'll hold these for whatever they play next. Right. Ooh. That's nice. Alright, so we're going to play Jinx. She should, I think, do all those things again. I think. <laughs> Perfect. Welcome to the arena. All right, GG. Man, so that was actually pretty close to my fastest time, and honestly, we didn't even get very lucky. Like, for Jinx, she's still just at 4 power, so her Nexus Strike was doing very little. We got pretty much no upgrades there. We just got, like, a Shadow Totem or a Stabilize. Would have given us way more power. So even with having, like, the only thing that really helped us was Spellburn, Spellslinger Sorcery. Sting Officer really didn't matter. It added barely any damage. This timed out after the first couple turns and the far side. So most of your runs with Jinx with this build will be way better than this. But even with just like a couple powers helping us out, we were able to stomp through that adventure. I hope this shows you what you can do with max level Jinx. It's pretty ridiculous. And since we just did a guide, I feel like we should have done a nice gameplay video to go around with that. Your matches all will end up feeling pretty much the same because you're just ending the game in like the first turn. But if you want to be able to mindlessly farm your adventures, Absolutely great build for that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, special shout out to all of our awesome members. If you want to become a member, hit that join button down below. I hope you all have a great day.